We have witnessed the glory of the integral battles, but now the viewers are ready for a new challenge. So it is time for differential equation battles. This is the first in a series of videos where we examine the clash between two differential equations as we solve each one. And this is a special episode, so make sure you stick through to the end so you can see what happens there. We're going to start out by solving this first differential equation. Negative 3y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals sine t. We're going to solve this using undetermined coefficients. You can check the link in the description for a video on that. We know that the first thing we're going to do is guess a form of the particular solution. We know because the right side of the equation is sine of t that our particular solution must be a cosine t plus b sine of t for some constants a and b. Now we just need to differentiate this so we can find the derivatives and plug it in over here. So yp prime is going to be b cosine t minus a sine t, just flipping these two around. And then yp double prime is going to be negative a cosine t minus b sine t. So we are ready to plug all of this into our differential equation. Starting out with negative 3y double prime is negative a cosine t minus b sine t. Then we have plus 2y prime is b cosine t minus a sine t. And finally, we have a plus y. So that'll be plus a cosine t plus b sine t. And we know all of this is going to be equal to sine t over here on the right side. So let's combine the like terms on the left side of this equation. If we look at the cosines first. Notice we have minus 3 times negative a cosine t. That'll be a 3a cosine t. And then we have plus 2b. And then finally, we have another plus a. So that'll turn this from a 3 into a 4. So we have 4a plus 2b cosine t. Then looking at the signs, we have minus 3 times negative b. That'll be a 3b. Then we have plus 2 times negative a. So minus 2a. And then finally, plus b again. So that'll turn this 3 into another 4 times sine t. And that's going to be equal to just a sine t. Now we can equate the coefficients. In other words, notice on the left side of this equation, we have 4a plus 2b cosine t. But on this side, there are no cosines. That means that we know 4a plus 2b must be equal to 0 for this equation to be true. Next, we can look at the signs. Because we have a 1 sine t on the right, we know that 4b minus 2a must equal 1. Now we can solve for a and b. To start out, notice that if we multiply the bottom equation by 2, we're going to get 2 times negative 2a, which is negative 4a. And if we add these equations up, the 4a here and the negative 4a in the second equation are going to cancel. We can solve for b. So let's do that. We don't get any a's. And then we have 2b plus 2 times 4 is 8b. So 2 plus 8 gives us 10. And then that's going to be equal to 2 times 1 is just 2. And therefore, we have our first piece of information, which is b equals 1 fifth. Now we want to go back and solve for a. So if we take a look at this equation one more time, let's use the top equation and plug in the value of b. If we have 4a and then plus, well, 2b is going to be 2 fifths because b is 1 fifth. That equals 0. We can solve this pretty easily for a. That'll be that a is equal to negative 1 tenth. So that's going to be our other constant right here. And we have solved everything we need for the particular solution. So I'll plug in these values of a and b to the particular solution, and then we'll get going on the complementary part. So I've written our particular solution with these coefficients plugged in, and now we can get rid of this a and b and start looking at our complementary solution. In order to figure that out, we know that we need to set this left side of the equation, negative 3y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equal to 0. So this is a basic homogeneous differential equation. The first thing we're going to do is guess y equals e to the rt. So then we get negative 3r squared plus 2r plus 1 equals 0. So this is just a basic quadratic equation, and we can apply the quadratic formula to get the two roots of r equals negative 1 third and positive 1. 
which means our complementary solution is going to be C1e to the negative one third t plus C2e to the t, just like that. The final step to get our actual solution is to add up the particular solution and the complementary solution. So y equals y particular plus y complementary. And that means our answer is negative one tenth cosine t plus one fifth sine t and then plus c1 e to the negative one third t plus c2 e to the t. That is the answer to our first differential equation. And now it's time to get to the second one. Hi, we are going to solve 3y double prime plus 4y prime plus y equals cosine t. Of course, let's consider the homogeneous situation so that we can find the complementary solutions. And let me write this down right here for you guys, for yc. We are going to look at 3y double prime plus 4y prime plus y equals 0. And then we change this to 3r squared plus 4r to the first power plus 1. No r, and then this is equal to 0. And of course, we're going to solve this by factoring. We get 3r plus 1 times r plus 1 equals 0. From here, we know r will be negative 1 over 3. And from here, we know r will be negative 1. Now, based on these two things, we know we have two building blocks for the complementary solutions. The first one is going to be the following. Let's put on yc first. We are going to get e to the negative 1 over 3t. This is the first one. And for the second one, we are going to have e to the negative 1t, like this. Now, don't forget, we are going to add them up and then multiply this by c1 and multiply this by c2. This is the part that we get the constants. So that's good. Now, we are going to find the particular solution. So here we go. This is the fun part. So let me write this down right here for you guys. For yp, we have to look at what's happening on the right-hand side. It's cosine of 1t, and whenever we have cosine, we also have to have the sine. And the thing is that, look at this right here. We have e to the something. Well, that is linearly independent than sine cosine. So we don't have to do anything fancy with the yp. So the general form for yp is going to be, well, we don't know the coefficients yet. This is the method of indeterminate coefficient. Therefore, we are going to find out that later. For now, we put on a times cosine t, and don't forget to add it with b sine t. This will be the general form. And just differentiate this twice, so we can get the second derivative, plug back in, and then solve for a and b, and that will be it. So here we go. yp prime, this is going to give us negative a sine t plus b cosine t. And then y double prime, yp double prime, like this. This is going to be negative a cosine t minus b sine t, like that, yes. Now, throwing everything there, check this out. We are going to get 3, and then we have the y double prime, which is all this. Then, let's just go ahead and put that down. down. We have negative a, and then we have the cosine t minus b sine t. And then, that's it. Don't put the square, right? That's the second derivative right here only. And then we add it with plus 4. And uh, we have yp prime, which is just this. Namely, negative a sine t plus b cosine t. And lastly, we have just y, which is all that. We add, and let's put on parentheses, why not? a cosine t plus b sine t, like all this. And this is equal to cosine t on the right-hand side. So that's what we have. Now, we are going to do two things right here. Of course, we are going to distribute and then combine like terms. So let's try to do all that in our head, right? And then we'll write down the answer. Let's see. On the left-hand side, we are going to get cosine, right? So we are going to have that. And perhaps let me just put it down right here. And let me put on cosine t right here. And let's see what we have in the front. For this parentheses, we are going to end up with negative 3a cosine t. So let's put down negative 3a right here. And for this right here, we are going to get 4b cosine t. So we have 4b right here. So let's put down plus 4b. And for this part, we are going to get a cosine t. So we are going to add a like this, right? And then let's do the other part. So we are going to add parentheses 
and we have the sine t here. This is equal to cosine t. Well, we are going to look for the sine part. We first have 3 times negative b, so we have negative 3b sine t. And then we are going to have negative 4a sine t. Lastly, we have b sine t, so plus b sine t and all that. And now, check this out. Of course, we can just combine like terms right here. So this is going to give us negative 2a plus 4b. And that's the coefficient of cosine t on the left-hand side. And this is going to give us negative 4a, right? And we have minus 2b. And this is the coefficient of sine t on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we only have one cosine t. Here we go. And there's no sine t. That means this right here better be 1, and this right here better be 0. So we are going to have the following. Negative 2a plus 4b has to be equal to 1. And this right here has to be equal to 0. So let's put that down. We have negative 4a and then minus 2b equals 0. And of course, we'll have to solve the system of equations. And they are on the board already. Very cool. A is negative 1 over 10, and B is 1 over 5. Of course, you can just put them back, and that will be the particular solution. Well, does this look familiar? Yes, isn't it? Because this particular solution is actually the same as what mu prime got earlier for his differential equation for the first one. Also, we are talking about different differential equations, but they have the same yp. Very cool. I know yc's are different, but you know, it's very cool. Anyway, for this one, we are going to just, of course, add them up, and that will be the final answer. So let me write this down right here for you guys. Well, y is equal to yc, which is all that. Namely, c1 e to the negative 1 over 3t plus c2 e to the negative t. And then let's write this down in red. So plus yp, which is minus 1 over 10 cosine t. And then we have the plus 1 over 5 sine t. Don't be too excited, even though I have a plus c on my shirt, but we don't need a plus c. They are right here already. This is the answer. Of course, I put it down. Of course, this is the answer, right? So that's it. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to Mew Prime for letting me be on his channel. And if you guys would like, of course, you guys can check out more of his video and also my videos. Subscribe to Mew Prime, subscribe to my channel. Everybody will be happy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, that's it.